Hey guys, Josh here, CrossFit Rima, talking Thursday's workout, and it's 20 minutes, once we get there, uh, before we do a little bit of strength work, and that goes back to what we were talking about with pace. Think of a sustained effort, and think of timing every round individually and matching up the round time every time. So starting out at let's say 80-ish percent of rate of perceived exertion, so RPE, and then keeping that as opposed to starting out at like 90 95%, dropping all the way down, and then trying to survive. So think of that when we get there. But first, let's go over our, our warm-up, which is gonna be, first piece, we're gonna step back into a spider. So I take a step back, spider lunge. Now, we're gonna add in a little component to that. So once I'm down, I keep my rear leg off of the floor, and I press one, press two, press three, and I'm gonna press for five, and as I'm doing that, I'm keeping my big toe locked to the floor. So when you press, don't take the foot off the ground, keep the big toe on the ground, and you'll feel it quite a bit more in the hip, okay? Now, my next piece that I'm gonna get into, I'm gonna take a knee, and then I'm gonna take one foot directly in line with that knee, and then get a good stretch already. Maybe this is about a 90-90 position, maybe it's a little bit back, then I try to keep the chest up and I rock for one, I rock for two, and I rock for three. And the more you can start to scoot that leg out, you start to feel some stuff kind of play around through there. Okay, guys? And then my last piece, I'm going to do a little bit of a push-up, but it's going to have, I'll call it an IT push-up because it's going to have a lateral leg stretch in there. So this is what I'll do. I'm going to kick one leg out straight then kick the other leg away, creating a 90 degree angle about my hip. Now here's where it gets kind of sketchy. I'm gonna to try to keep this leg up, so don't let it sit down towards your other foot, but keep it up, and then try to rotate as much as you can towards the ground. And once I do, I'm trying to get as far away from that leg as I can, but keeping a good stretch on. Then I take this leg, my back leg, and I try to straighten it. And once I do that, that's where you feel it, right through here. And then I try to push up. And I'll do five. And then I'll switch around. And then I'll do five more. If I can get my chest to the ground because I'm mobile enough, then awesome. Now I would do 10 of those. And I'll probably go through that entire warm up three to four times, or whatever coach <clears throat> may call for that. For my strength, I have push ups because why not, but they're tempo push-ups. And if you read the tempo piece, it's got a three and then a comma and then a two, that's gonna be sketchy. Then an X, which just means explosive, and then a four, which is really gonna be interesting. So we're gonna watch how that's gonna turn out. We're gonna do that for 60 seconds with 30 minute, 30, 30 minute, that would be really interesting, with a 30 second rest in between. So 60 seconds on, 30 seconds rest, we'll do that for five rounds. So watch real quick what this tempo is gonna do. Again, it's three on the way down. So usually we judge tempo, the very first one is your down or your eccentric or whatever that may be. So I get in plank position, and on my way down, everything's tight, I go one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. So that's my down. Now, the next component is a two. So that's the hold at the bottom. But I'm not gonna just lay here for two. I'm actually gonna be active for one and for two. And then my X is my explode up, and then there's this one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, and then I begin my next rep. So those are gonna be super challenging. A lot of us even that have good push-ups will probably want to default right away to going to regular push-ups, but let's not do that. Even if I struggle with a push-up, it would be awesome to do the tempo on the way down Maybe try to hold that bo almost bottom position an inch off of the floor for a second. That would be really, really cool to be able to practice. And maybe I'm doing one of those and taking a, a five second break. I'm not gonna get a whole lot of them during the minute. That's not the point. The point is the time under tension and the point is instead of just banging reps out, I'm getting quality, slow tempo reps and even some isometric holds in there. Again, five rounds, 60 seconds on, 30 seconds off. 20 minute AMRAP, 20 A squats, which we're gonna go over here in a second, 20 A squats, 20 bench dips, and then 20 lunges per side. Some people might call that 40 lunges, but 20, 20, 20 for 20 minutes looks a lot cooler, so now you get the idea. So 
Here's what an A squat's gonna look like. I have my trusty seven million pounds of sand, and what I'm gonna do is set this up in my squat stand, so my feet just outside of shoulder, toes are pointing forward, big toes locked into the ground, and I still address the squat the same exact way, so I'm gonna be down, except this time, I'm actually gonna touch, so wherever this sand is uneven, just in case you didn't know that, sand's uneven, so now, okay, first time, first time, so now, I come all the way up, and then I jump on top of it, and then I step down, and then I do the same thing. I don't really have to sit, I was just demonstrating and showing how this movement will go, but I touch, and then I jump up, and then I touch, and then I jump up. That's my A squat, I have 20 of those. So the object that I'm looking for, I can keep a squat back, I can keep a weightlifter arch, I can get the depth, touch, sit arguably, and then jump up and land without breaking it or falling through it. And if that doesn't work, we can of course just do a jump squat, okay? So now, I'm gonna go to my dip. So for my bench dip, I'm gonna pull my box over, and all I have to do is get into this position here, and it's down and up. And one thing you wanna make note of when you're doing these is that I almost try to drag my back up against that bench or that chair or whatever that may be, okay? So I'm not stepping away out and get a ton of weird shoulder extension. That's not the thing, it's not how much can I stretch. It's staying close to it and getting a four inch motion and then coming back up. And then I'm gonna finish with my lunge. I choose to do reverse lunges most of the time. It's not that I feel that, that uh, uh, regular lunges moving forward are bad. I just feel like it feels a little bit better on my knee. So I take a step back, touch, and then I'm gonna do another one on that side because I'm gonna do 20 per side before I switch. So 20 on the right, 20 on the left, 20, 20, 20, 420. I almost forgot our cool down, which is a wall release. Uh, Ghost Scoo is kind of the one that created some of this. Uh, you can research all that. They usually use trees that you can get one foot on and it's a big back reset, but either way, if you get into this, you sit here for about two minutes, let everything relax especially helpful after a longer workout and hang out for about three minutes. Thanks guys.